Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial. If you are looking for a video to show you how to become a seller and post your first gig on Fiverr, or if you're looking to how to optimize your current gigs on Fiverr, I think this will be a great tutorial step-by-step -step walkthrough for you. Uh, my name is Dusty. I've been a seller on Fiverr for almost nine years. Uh, I've done almost half a million uh, dollars worth of sales on Fiverr, and uh, I, I believe that I do have some information that could be valuable for you starting up. So, first things first, you want to create your Fiverr account and log in. Uh, you can do so by linking your Google account, your Facebook account, and it'll prompt you to create a username. Uh, something I wish I would have done earlier or sooner is to create a more relevant username. My username is awful, but it's worked for me. Just note that now as you're creating that. Once you've done that and you have logged in, you'll see your little profile image up here where you can click on and have a drop down menu. You'll see something here that says become a seller. If you click on that, it'll take you to this page here. You can just click on any of these green buttons here that say become a seller and it lets you know uh, basically what to expect. You'll create your seller profile, uh, you'll learn what you know it takes to create one, and then you'll publish your first gig, which is what we're going to be doing today. So basically they'll let you know kind of what makes a good seller profile. Again, clear images, an image of you, make it personal, so an image of yourself or your family or whatever it may be. Uh, and basically you'll wanna put in your first and last name, your profile picture, everything here, the more the better, right? And the more personalized that it can be, the better. So go through this process, create your seller profile, and then you'll be good to go, ready to create your first gig. All right, once you've done that, created your seller profile, you'll be able to see your dashboard and the drop down here that says my business. If we go to my business and then go to gigs right here, you won't see anything here, but if you go to the green button on this page that says create a new gig, uh, basically this will take you to the page that we're wanting to get to. So there are about six or seven steps in the process, and I'm gonna walk you through each and every one of them, okay? So I do voice acting on Fiverr. So for me, uh, right here in my gig title, uh, I want to say I will provide a voiceover, North American voiceover, whatever your job is, you know, you're an SEO copywriter or you're an artist, let the people know what you're going to do here. Keep it brief, but also keep it informational. You want to include everything that you're going to offer right here in the title and just make sure that you're not going to lead them astray. You're not you know, including something here that you're not going to offer. So go ahead and type in your gig title. So type in your title and then you're gonna to wanna to go down to where you see category. So under category where you see select a category, make sure that you're selecting the appropriate category. Um, are you a writer? You wanna select writing and translation and then you'll want to select a subcategory. So for me, I want to go to music and audio, go to subcategory and then for me it would be voiceover and then you'll see that Fiverr suggests categories for you as well. Now, next is going to be our gig metadata. This is the information that Fiverr uses to present your gig to people as they're searching on the platform. Think of Fiverr as like the eBay uh, of gig work or the YouTube or Google of gig work, right? When someone comes to Fiverr, they're gonna be searching for an exact service. Make sure you're providing metadata here. So for me, the language is going to be easy. For me, that's going to be English. So select English there. And then for me, it's going to be English American. And then I even could select English American Southern because I am, I do have more of a Southern dialect. Then under gender, it's going to be male. Now, for gig metadata, this is going to look different depending on what category you are in. So if you selected the video and animation category and then you selected video editing, you're gonna see here, my gig metadata is completely different. This is going to be the type of video that you are going to be editing or creating. So understand that this is going to look different. You just want to make sure that you select all of the things that are appropriate that will be related to your gig. So go ahead and fill out that gig metadata now. Once you fill out the metadata, you're gonna see something here that says search tags. So basically it says tag your gig with buzzwords that are relevant to the services you offer and you'll want to maximize it by using all five that you are allowed. So you can add five tags here. So if you are creating logos or you're doing logo design, you would put things like logo design or logo animation or whatever it may be. So understand that any keywords or key phrases that you put here need to be relative or related to your gig. Now, negative keywords are going to enable you to not come up for certain things. 
So like for me, I don't do character voices. So for me, I would put character voices here uh, as something that I do not want to show up for. So if you don't want your gig to come up for something, put those in the negative keyword option here. And for things that you want your gig to show up for, put that in the positive keywords here. So go ahead and do that. Make sure you use all five allotted spaces. All right, once you're done here, go ahead and click the green button that says save and continue. Next, we're moving on to the next portion of the gig, which is pricing. This is huge, okay? So this, again, is going to look different depending upon what category you are in. So for the voice acting category, we'll have a word count, how many revisions you offer, and the price for that word count. Now for you, it might be a set price for a logo design or for a bit of copywriting or whatever you're providing. Make sure you're setting your prices here. I will give you a couple of tips. Make sure you set a price to begin with that may be a little bit lower than what you would like to do the work for. Get a couple of jobs under your belt, get a couple of five-star reviews, and then you can increase your prices. I remember I started recording 500 words for $5. That was absolutely insane, and I have now decreased that down almost quadruple. So understand you may have to start your price somewhere else and then go you know, up to where you initially want it to be. Next, you're going to see upgrades. These are going to be upgrades that you can add. So for voice acting, you can see here, do you want that provided in a WAV or HQ file? That's an extra. Do you want that synced to a video? I will select that. I will add how many more days that will add to the job, and then I will add how much more that will add to the price, okay? These are just ones that Fiverr thinks that you might want to add or other people in the same category have added, but you can go here and go to Add Gig Extra. You can give it a title, so you can you know add whatever the extra service. You'd put that title here, okay? And then you'd give that description of that service and then how much more money it would be for that additional service and then how many more days it would take you to be added on. All of this will be uh, basically calculated as they're ordering the gig. So understand that everything you do here will obviously come into effect when they place that order on your gig page, okay? So go ahead and set your price up here. Go ahead and add your upgrades here. And then something they've added recently is subscriptions. So if you are a copywriter or someone doing something that you could do on a monthly or bi-monthly basis, you could add subscriptions. Give them a little bit of a discount. That way you know you have consistent work coming in. You can select three months. You can give the discount to be 5%, 10% or whatever that may be. Again, another way of you knowing kind of what work is coming down the pipeline. Again, once done, go ahead and click the green button that says save and continue. Next is going to be your description and FAQ. Now, mine has changed a lot over the years. Um, as you can see, here is my briefly uh, describe your gig. Here is where I do that. Use some highlighting in there to, to bring out things that you might want folks to, to, to see. Make sure you understand that you put in bold things that are important and that you spell things the appropriate way. I already see some things here that I could do to improve mine, right? Um, so make sure you put everything that you need to into this gig description here. So anything that you might think they would want to know, make sure you put that in the description. Then you have a milestone workflow. Attract buyers by turning your gig into a series of milestones. They'll know exactly what to expect, and you'll get paid with each milestone. So do you have a first revision of a logo? You may want to do that here. All of those things will be done under milestone. I'm not going to cover that too much. Frequently asked questions or FAQ. Wow, this one is a big one. I started my gig with zero. I now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have almost 10 uh, frequently asked questions. This is critical. It will save you so much time to go ahead in the front of this and get in ahead of these questions. So what is commercial rights? What is full broadcast right? You know, where can they use your logo? Whatever questions you foresee them having, and you're going to add to this, right? As you get more questions, you come in here and you click the add FAQ, you add a question, and then you add your answer and then click the green add button. And that will add those questions. All of this will be presented to the buyer as they're purchasing your gig. Next, we're going to see requirements. Okay. So for me, uh, I have added right here uh, under free text, you'll add new question. So add whatever that question would be. And then you can choose whether you want that to be free text, multiple choice, or a, a, an attachment. So are you a logo designer? Do you want logos similar to what they're wanting? You may want to include an attachment. So make that an attachment and then say, provide me with logos that you already like or logos similar to what you are expecting, right? So you can add those questions here. So as you can see for me, uh, this question here would be, send me your script with guides on how to say all names, locations, words that may be difficult to say. So I've basically, you know, provided a couple of questions here that 
may need to be answered whenever they're coming through and purchasing my gig. And free text just means it gives them a big box to text in, right? So any questions they may have, this is going to be the requirements. As they're going through the buying process, what are things that they need to know, okay? So you can always go back and edit them, make it required up here. It's very, very important, right? And you can add new questions by clicking the blue button here. Next is going to be advanced settings. Is this an instant order or a request to order? Uh, basically, this is like a plus feature. This probably wouldn't be available to you right now, but I would just you know set it to instant order, leave it there for now, and you're good to go. Now, probably the most important aspect of your gig is the gallery, how your gig looks. A couple of things here that are a necessity. You need, you must have a video, and you can only provide one video. So right here where it says video only one, the video can be no longer than 75 seconds, has to be 75 seconds or shorter, and no greater than 50 megabytes in size. If you don't have a video on your gig, don't expect to make very many sales. Make a video of yourself explaining what to expect when they buy your gig. Next, audio, up to three. These are just demos for me for audios, and then you can include images. I've included a nice little headshot of myself here, make it more personal, and then you could even do documents if that's something you want to do. This is where you're going to hang all of your brochures, all of your flyers, all the things that are going to represent your gig visually and audio uh, You know, will be put here in your gallery. Now, if you go to save here, that'll save it, and then if you go to save and preview, it's going to save that, and then you're going to see preview. This is going to show what your gig looks like. Boom, this is what my gig looks like. Here's my video. Here's my description. Here's some reviews that I've gotten recently. Again, save and preview. Now, when you're ready, you're going to see something that says save and publish or publish down here at the bottom. You go ahead and publish that gig. Again, this is a work in progress. You can always go back like I'm doing now and edit an already existing gig. So that's it. That's how you create your first gig and optimize it. Hopefully this was helpful. I will have a pinned FAQ comment down below showing you uh, some questions that you may have and some others might have had as well. You can post those there. I really appreciate you watching the video. If you would, use our link to sign up for Fiverr down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.